Hey everyone, it's me, Mrs. Abel. And I'm using this board right here to, to help you understand lessons 11, 12, and 13 in Eureka Math. I think a lot of you are making it harder than it is. You won't see me because I couldn't figure out how to rear face on my camera. So this is what you're getting. So right here, I'm gonna really make it simple for you. Okay, first thing I wanna do is review a lesson on what we've been doing. So, sorry, let me grab a marker. So here we go. If I take three times two and a half, I have to take three times two plus three times one half, which is six plus three halves, which equals seven and a half, because you have six plus. One and one half. Okay, I think you guys all know how to do that. Just to remind you, that's how you do it. So let me erase this. So now, all these lessons are talking about is if things don't work out perfectly. So what they're doing here is I'm taking this same board and I'm gonna use this paper towel, pretend it's a square, and I'm gonna see how many of these would fit in. So I would have one, two, and then a little bit of one, correct? So it wouldn't fit easily. So if I'm doing area, I would just take two and one fourth. And then I would see how many I could do going up. And say I would do two times two. So all they're doing is separating them out because all I'm doing is figuring out area, length times width. So I would take two times two plus two times one fourth. <clears throat> if I'm figuring out area. So that would be four plus two over four, which would equal four and one half. So it would be four and a half paper towel squared, whatever it is as you're using as a unit. So let me show you again. Sorry, I know this isn't ideal, but we'll ma we're making it do. So if I take this square, Okay, and say I'm making it up. Say I'm taking four, and it's four and a half units wide. Because remember, area equals length times width. So wide is four and a half. And length, let's call it one and a half. Okay, all they're doing is on the area model, and I'm not even worried about that. They're taking four times one, and then the half times a half. So what they're doing, and then four times, so they're taking four times one plus four times one half, and then doing it the same. I'm gonna choose a simple, easier way to do it. Take this number and turn it into an improper fraction, which is nine halves. Okay, take this number, turn it into an improper fraction, which is two, three halves. And then you multiply them together. So you're taking nine halves times three halves. So let's do that down here. Nine halves times three halves, which would equal 27 fourths. Do you see that? So then that would be six and three halves. Four. So if I go back up here, my units would be six and three fourths units squared. That's it. Okay, let me try another one for you. Sorry, you gotta wait while I erase. You wanna know what's scary? This smart board's a little smarter than the one I have at school. That was a joke. I hope you missed them. All right, here we go. Let's try this one. If I have Remember, area 
equals length times width. All they're saying is that it does the numbers don't work out easy, evenly, easily. So say that's four by three. Everyone knows what the area is. We'll call that inches. The area would be 12 inches, right? Four times three, everyone gets that. But now let's call this four and a third inches by four and one half inches, okay? You know the way I like to do it. I like to turn them into improper fractions because otherwise it gets very complicated. So I take that, I would turn that four times two plus one is nine halves. And this would be three times three is nine plus one times 10 thirds. Pretty simply, you just go across, which would give you 90 over six. I do my division to find out how many times six goes into 90. 90 divided by six goes into it once with three times. Nine, six goes into 30, 15. So the answer to this would be 15 inches squared. I hope that's a lot easier for you. Um, I know they're showing you a different way, but without me, I think this is a common, the easier way to do it. I'm gonna do one more just to make sure you have it. And if you do it this way, I'm good with it. Again, all it is is finding length times width using fractions, because as you know, not everything works out perfectly. So here's my square again. And I have six and one fourth times, and that would be my length. And then my width would be two and one fourth. Okay. So then they're taking, I like to turn into an improper fraction, which would turn this into 25 fourths times nine over four. Nine times 25, I don't know, I should have picked an easier one, over 16. Uh, that is 225. How do I do that? 25 times nine which is five, carry the four, 225 over 16. And then what is a fraction? I hope everyone's saying it with me. It's a division problem. 225 divided by 16, which is, goes into it once with 65 left over. 16 goes into 65, how many times? Three times? four times. That'd be 24 with one left over. So 14 and 1 16. So my answer would be 14 and 1 16. And this is centimeters. I'm making it up. Centimeters squared. Okay. I hope that helps out. Um, for those of you who want to see it the way they're doing in the book, let me show you that real quickly. That would be like if you took four times one and a half, okay? You would do four times one plus four times one half. So that would be four plus four halves, which would equal four plus two, which would equal six. How would they do that using a drawing? You would take four and then one and a half. First, you're doing the four times one. Got it. And then here, you're doing four times one half. That's how you're doing it. And then they're adding it together. So making it pretty easy for you. I hope that clears it up. Um, email me or email me or put it in the Zoom, or I'm sorry, put it in the um, class chat on Google if we're having trouble with it. Hope this helps. Uh, good luck, and I miss you guys. Bye.